94.3 Radio 1, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yes, yes, it is time to talk about music. Some of the things that give us much joy. And of course, uh, one of the things that's giving us uh, uh, joy is uh, the latest from uh, Riddhi Oswal. The song, of course, uh, you will hear very, very soon. But uh, about the song you're about to hear because we've got the wonderful Riddhi with us. Uh, Riddhi, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, and congratulations on the, on the earlier hits and... Uh, from what we um, uh, what we hear of the latest song, uh, it's quite the foot tapper. It's quite a romper, isn't it? You wanna you wanna take us through how it happens? What's what's the story behind the song? For sure. Thank you so much for having me. So guilty feet. I'm so excited uh, that it's out. Um, first of all, it's it's a song that has it's an Indo-Western song. So my whole crust of all my music that I've released so far is about mix incorporating Indian elements and Western elements. So there's a lot of tabla. There is a lot of sitar. Uh, it has electric guitar in it as well, incorporating that um, Western fusion to it. Um, so it's all about embracing guilt, which is a super, I think, weird concept when you first hear about it. But it's so, you know, growing up as an Indian woman, a young woman now who's uh, I can finally call myself that because I'm 19, who's um, who's, <laughs> <laughs> who's kind of experienced, who has been blessed enough to experience different cultures. I saw and felt that I feel, you know, certain cultures, including the Indian culture, made Indian young women and girls and, you know, teens feel ashamed of having certain desires and certain self-expressions and certain, you know, wants of being independent. So guilty feet is all about embracing that. It's like, yes, I'm guilty, but my feet, you know, my body is taking me towards these desires. So it's all about embracing that and allowing yourself to kind of feel free in that aspect. Um, and, you know, wanting to be independent and wanting to be cheeky at times, because every woman, I believe, deserves to feel beautiful, deserves to feel loved, deserves to feel independent. Uh, and that's the whole crest of the song. Absolutely. And the soundtrack of that hope is, is sounding very, very good, of course. Uh, listen, there's also the fact that, uh, you know, uh, we're living in a in a time when everyone wants uh, labels to be put because it's very convenient to put things in boxes. Mm. But as you said, uh, you know, you, you've used Indian instrumentation, you've used, uh, 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 you know, uh, it, it's just such a lovely potpourri of uh, of genres but uh, if you were to want to put it in a box what box would you put your song into musically speaking i've had so many issues with this even when i'm like you know, <laughs> emotional stuff it's like they always ask me what do you want to do so there's yeah. actually like indo you know what's so funny that latin music has a genre subgenre yes. like Latin mixed with um you know the fusion fusion has a genre but Indo-Western doesn't have a specific categorized genre. So I'm, I'm not going to say that it's Western music because it's not. I'm not going to say it's Bollywood because it's not, right? Um, so I'm going to continue calling it Indo-Western and I'm going to continue having issues with it because until somebody finally allows it to be a final like version, like Indo-Western exists, I'm not going to let it go because there's so many artists out there who already make this kind of music. So why not already make this a genre? You know? And that's the thing, isn't it, uh, 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 really? That the, the fact that if you want to put it for streaming, if you want to put it out there on the internet, in the in the in the vast uh, tundra of the internet, yeah. you'll still need to geotag it with a name. So, uh, <laughs> so is is that a bit of a con conflict for you? Because from what I understand, as far as you're concerned, it's the fluidity of the music that is more important. But you'll need to uh, channel yeah. that flow into something, isn't it? I kind of let my team deal with that. <laughs> so they're always like, what do you want to categorize it as? And I'm like, I don't know. So they're like, right now, it's like, I found a way to put like, you can put like, th there was the sub subcategory, I'm forgetting the name that we picked, but it's super technical. Mm -hmm. uh, but okay. for now, I'm just enjoying making the music. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully one yeah. day, they'll realize, you know, this is growing, you know, and the Indian culture is growing. We have to, oh. you know, we have to make it, you know, prominent. In the yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You can pull the strings and the team can bite the bullet. We You've been dealing in singles, um, uh, uh, an album, an album in the works, uh, a little bit of um, creativity for the, for the so cover. I, and all of so actually, I would love to release an EP, but so EP is like four songs, but the issue yeah. is I've been switching teams and labels. Uh, well, now I'm independent, thank God, but it's just been so hectic. And I want to release my music fast now because I feel like I can't, as an artist, I can't keep holding my music because it feels like I'm holding a baby that wants to grow. So it's for now, it's going to be singles uh, until until I feel like I'm finally at a stable position and I can finally release a body of work such as an EP. Although I have like six songs just sitting, I'd love to release, you know, release them all together. But yeah. you've, you've taken your time as far as the music is concerned. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, with the democratization of, of, of art in that sense, as far as the internet is concerned, everyone can actually re record music, put out music. It's also a time when music has become very, very intimate. I mean, it's being produced in the living room, consumed in the yeah. living room. Um, 
is there is there a little bit of pressure are you uh, you know do you feel a little bit of pressure about uh, being out of sight out of mind do you feel pressure to put music out or do you give yourself you do you force yourself to give yourself that kind of time no i don't feel pressure to put music out um there's a, you know i could have stuck with my old label as well and just been like okay yeah fine i'll be treated like shit and let you you know release my music but i said no my music deserves more than this and you know people i want people who resonate with the music to hear it so i i don't feel pressured at all i mean it's it's art and i feel like social media plays into this pressure for most artists i I dislike social media because as an artist you're not you shouldn't be posting 15 second reels. Uh the reason you went into art and music is because you're awkward as a person, right? So how am I going to do a 15 second reel and make it look natural to myself? I'm not like that, right? But I've tried my best and I tried to make it as authentic as possible because nobody likes a catfisher. Uh but then again, it's like you have to do it what you have to do, but that's half the reason why artists feel pressure is social media. For sure. Also, I've personally grown up uh, consuming music as a as a community person, as a as a community exercise. Where there's rock bands playing, and you go and you look at each other and shake your head. And now, of course, it's becoming a, a increasingly a time of singer songwriters where self expression, uh, you know, uh, the intimacy of music is sort of taking place. What are your views about? a uh, singer songwriter versus the community experience of a band do you want to work with a band uh, at some point of time what are your views about that a band never really had views about that i don't i don't think i've ever wanted to work uh, in a band because i'm super controlling <laughs> i'm a very perfectionist person so i don't think i don't think it'd be possible for <laughs> i don't know if that sounds very nice but i don't think uh, i don't think it's possible for me to work in a band with like a drummer and everything even though that'd be amazing because right now i'm still at a place in my career where i'm growing so i need to figure myself out before i can let anyone figure my music out for me you know Also uh since we're living in the world of social media and uh, no matter how much we might despise it it's only proper that we do uh the uh, you know the the done thing and make a bit of a listicle about uh, uh those three points that you'd like people to remember uh, when they're taking their first steps into uh the the industry that you're uh, treading with such wonderful ease what are those three points that you would like them to remember not with ease uh, but <laughs> <laughs> um stay away <laughs> listen to your gut feeling if you feel like someone is using you for something they're probably using you um and don't don't think everyone's your friend no not everyone's your friend uh for sure and get yourself a really good lawyer uh thanks <laughs> 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 that, um, that is arguably some of the most uh, practical points that we've heard and and that's yeah. important that's important yeah. unfortunately oh, stay stay for for stay true to yourself stay true to yourself yeah <laughs> I think I think that's the base you know that that that's the that, that's the base on which the foundation is put yeah. but yeah stay true your true to yourself and get a lawyer <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly the, those two things those two yeah, things uh, yeah, make yeah. sure the, the dry lawyer. practical aspect of music as well as the fluidity of sound that makes us all smile that's what really is all about her uh, latest song is called guilty feet it's going to be out and we're going to be playing it loud and happy so uh, thank you very much riddhi for your time and for the music it's absolutely lovely Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. 94.3 Radio 1